As India readies itself for the festival season, as expected, consumers are out and about spending. A key consumer, as per a report published by the Confederation of All India Traders, that has been noted this time, is uh, uh, an affiliation uh, to be made in India products. Due to this change in trend, China is likely to experience losses to the tune of around rupees one lakh crore, and uh, we will now be talking to Mr. Praveen Khandelwal, who is the General Secretary of uh, the CI80 who will explain to us more about this uh, report. Mr. Khandelwal, uh, thank you so much. You're a part of the Confederation of uh, the All India Traders uh, uh, Union. What can you tell us about this uh, vocal for local attitude that has uh, gripped the country? Uh, well, uh, mm, as we all know that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is uh, preaching uh, vocal for local since a long time. This time, he especially appealed the countrymen to purchase goods locally uh, from uh, the small people, small traders and small manufacturers to give more impetus to vocal for local. And uh, that is why uh, the not only the traders, but even the consumers across the country have decided to go for local for local and uh, this is resulting into a huge loss of business to china for at least 1 crore uh, 1 lakh crores of rupees earlier earlier in uh, what was happening in the country that during diwali uh, festival the almost more than 70% goods were of uh, china origin that is why China was having an edge over the retail trade uh, during the festival season. This time, uh, no importer from the country has imported any product that relates to Diwali festivity. Therefore, uh, there is a uh, considerable uh, choice for the consumers to go for the local products made in India. And uh, uh, that is uh, prompting uh, the customers and the consumers to go to the mainline markets and purchase uh, the products uh, which they really want to purchase or they really want to have. So this is totally a, 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 a shift in the, uh, in the change uh, which is uh, dominating now on the festival season. And we perceive that uh, in future also, uh, it is, uh, this trend is likely to go happen when uh, wedding season will be there from 23rd of November, then uh, Christmas and as also the New Year festival. So it's a, it's a welcome change and the trading community across the country is fully geared up to meet the requirements of the countrymen. Mr. Uh, Khandelwal, uh, you know, you're absolutely right. This is a very promising trend, but do you think that this is only limited to uh, the festival season or is this something which is likely uh, you know, to be appreciated by the consumer in our country uh, before and after festivities as well. See, this trend is going to continue uh, around the year. Uh, let me take uh, back uh, to the Galwan clash when China invaded our uh, uh, some part of our country and um, tried to occupy that area and, uh, and the fittest reply was given to China. Since then, uh, that episode, now the countrymen are uh, feeling very uh, touchy in the sense that uh, they are now thinking that if we buy China products, so th that means we are strengthening the Chinese economy and the China money is being used against our country. That is why uh, it takes almost uh, uh, two, three years uh, for the people to understand and what we are witnessing today is the result for is the result of last three years uh, campaign uh, run by confederation of all india traders that was a uh, boycott chinese product so now we are not saying boycott chinese product we are saying buy local product so therefore uh, earlier what was also happening that consumer was asking the cheap material and uh, of course the cheap material was of china origin now there, there has been a considerable change in the purchasing behavior of the consumer 
now before buying the product consumer specifically ask whether the product belongs to china or not if it is from china then consumer is not willing to take it so this uh, this is certainly going to be an activity around the year uh, not only to the festivals or wedding season even for the items for which we are not dependent upon china uh, we can uh, and which are available uh, even in other countries i think this pattern is going uh, going to survive and uh, as far as the products dependent upon china the government of india is has already taken the cognizance of it now the chips will be manufacturing in india so chips is the largest uh, uh, commodity for which we have to depend upon china so after this uh, plant is um, is erected this problem will al always be solved and likewise there may be some other products on which now we are depending upon china the government of india is uh, uh, is uh, trying to um, uh, to make uh, the alternates available within india and from our side we are uh, we are also uh, looking for uh, uh, alternate countries wh whether it is vietnam or it is some us or european union country so we are also identifying those countries from where our importers can procure the material so it will be a it will be a year long uh, phenomena now not limited only to the festivity so also reflect upon uh, you know the pricing and the quality that india has been able to offer you know in in direct competition to what the chinese products have been able to offer for the past few decades well our products are much better than the than the chinese product this much i can assure you uh if we if we look uh, for example the mobile industry is a living example for that earlier there were um, we, we were all dependent upon china or for other countries now 90% of the mobile being sold in india are being manufactured in india and now we are we are becoming exporter for mobile so this is one change the another example is of toy industry earlier we were having all toys of china origin now th now that phase is over now india's toy industry has become self sufficient and now we are exporting our toys to other countries so this this is the story uh, which we can see in many other uh, retail verticals also so i think uh, the india is in a better position now to give a tough competition at the global level not in terms of prices but in terms of quality as well right and so how do you see uh you know indian products making uh, their way not only within india but also dominating the global market something which china has done for the longest time we have to understand the basic difference between two economies china's economy is a manufacturing economy our uh, our economy is a consumer driven economy that is why india is the largest market across the globe but now we are also converting our steps beside having the consumer economy we are also uh, going to become the manufacturing uh, state as well and uh, i must be thankful to prime minister modi and uh, and the union government and other various state governments who have taken uh, the task to uh, get the industry set up uh, in different states notably uh, the uh, the prime minister is supporting the small manufacturing industries so and for that um, various schemes have been given we can uh, we can always name the production linked scheme that is pli scheme and likewise there are various other schemes which are uh, giving um, much advantages to the small manufacturing units and now uh, the small manufacturing units in different sectors are cropping up like anything so when we will be able to produce substantially we after meeting the demands of the country people then of course the balance surplus will be will be given for exports and i personally see uh, that uh, exports are going to have uh, have a major effect and we are going to have uh, a robust growth in india's exports for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon